Hello everyone. Well, I've got another Mila to look at today. This is a Mila Complete C3 Cat and Dog Power Line mains powered bad vacuum cleaner made in Germany. Let's have a look at the the main highlights of the machine on the box. We've got powerful efficient motor, three integrated accessories, a smell protect active air clean filter, plus and minus foot controls, the GN 3D type bags, turbo power with a turbo brush, two turbo brushes actually with this machine, and a 12 meter operating radius. Okay, let's get it open. I bought this cleaner a while ago when it was on offer from Amazon, so I don't know how much it costs now. And it might not even be available now in this color. I think this is just a black machine. But this will be very, very similar to all the other Miele Complete C3 machines. The motors will be the same. The accessories may differ and the filtration. Okay, that way around. So it be easier if I just do that, I think. Take out the tools. Have a look at those. So we get flexible hose and this so far as far as modern Miele nozzles go this is my favorite Miele straight suction nozzle. Plastic base as most of them are nowadays you've got litter pickers either side of the suction opening full width cleaning and of course a foot operated pedal Brushes up for carpets, brushes down for hard floors. So you've got a brush at the back and the front. Two little wheels. Click fitting, all Miele accessories click fit, apart from the smaller accessories. And we've got the little bracket so we can park it on the machine itself. The next nozzle, I'll need my scissors is a turbo nozzle which again is a very good design I like this one this is the Miele Turbo Tech you've got clear windows so you can see the brushes rotating fairly short brushes but relatively stiff the actual brushes do float up and down to adjust for varying carpets but you've also got a vent here a suction control which you can open so if the nozzle is hard to push on deeper or plush pile carpets, you can open up the valve to make it easier to push, but it still allows the airflow through the nozzle. So you're still getting the brush spinning at fast speed. Because if you were to use this on a lower pile carpet, it can stall the brush. Because this operates on suction, there's a little plastic fan in here. So the suction from the vacuum powers the brush, it doesn't have a motor in it. So in order for the brush roll to keep spinning, you can, as I said, open it up. You can half open it or fully open it. So that will depend on the carpet you're cleaning. Two little wheels at the front, two wheels at the back. And again, you've got the parking bracket. There's a separate instruction manual for the turbo nozzle. We've got the curved handle. We just need to put that onto the hose with a suction relief valve in the handle. And we have Daisy here coming to inspect. It's a cat and dog Daisy. She's wagging her tail. She's impressed. It's got the Daisy thumb up. Here's the telescopic wand. There we go. Nice smooth action, as he says. Bit stiff when they're brand new. That's it. Another turbo nozzle. So this is the ultimate cat and dog because it comes with both full-size turbo nozzle and the turbo mini again a very good nozzle these separate little book for the nozzle so that's Miele's turbo mini this design's been around for a while so it works on a similar principle to the full-size one but it's smaller so this is ideal for your upholstery inside your car your stair carpets etc this does open up if it gets clogged up there's a little button here you just press the button hang on, and pull it up, pull up the collar and then as you can see that's the fan that drives the brush roll 
but it all comes out if you need to unclog it. And finally in this box we've got the full instruction book and mm, it says for free so it looks like there's a, there's a chance of getting a, a free packet of dust bags and I've just noticed there isn't one spare bag they used to put one spare bag in but now clearly not but there will be a bag fitted to the machine for your information I've just checked this leaflet so you can get a free box of high clean dust bags or 40% off the XXL pack that contains 16 dust bags and one HEPA filter and there's a voucher code in here so you'll have to go onto Mila's website to redeem that so that's a good little bonus always best to use original Mila bags and accessories and filters right let's just slide the machine out I do believe this is made in Germany, but I will confirm. Certain Mila's are now at least assembled in China, but I believe with Mila parts. And I have been informed that it is Mila's own factory, but it happens to be located in China. But Mila have full control over it. So, there we go, that's the cleaner unboxed. So, this is the machine itself, the complete C3 Cat and Dog Plus power line. They do an eco line as well with a reduced wattage motor. This is the power line, so it'll have the maximum allowable wattage for a cleaner sold in the EU and the UK. So I think this will be a probably 890 watt machine. It is. The limit for EU um, vacuum cleaners is 900 watts. So Mila are 890. So that's about the maximum wattage you'll find on their cleaners. So we've got integrated tool storage. There's a little button here, press it. And the cover springs open to reveal three additional tools. So we've got an upholstery nozzle for your upholstered furniture, curtains, etc. You have a dusting brush and I'm not sure if this is the deluxe one, but it's fairly soft brushes, quite small brush, but it is adjustable so you can angle it different angles to clean high and low do your finishing blinds with that shelving etc that fits in neatly and then we have a very small stubbly crevice tool Mila do offer ex um, additional accessories on their website you can get additional floor brushes um, additional dusting brushes they do a regular sized crevice tool which is just over double this size but they also do an extra long flexible crevice tool enabling you to clean in between your large appliances uh, all those nooks and crannies but that's your regular regular crevice that's on board let's pop that back in we have a bag of course the bags automatically seal when you open the bag door and to replace them you pull them out it will be stiff there we go so that's the GN dust bag we also have a pre-motor filter just in front of the motor behind the grill now Mila are very effective at filtering the dust well the Mila dust bags are so you will find in use if you use the genuine bags the container the cavity where the bag is kept will stay relatively dust free unless something happens if um, the unlikely event something splits the bag I mean I think these are seven layer filtration or if you use an imitation bag that might split then you will get mess of course in here but the pre-motor filter will protect the motor from most larger particles but just use Miele bags that just pops in there locks in place and we have the active air clean filter We've got a little strip here, just pull that off when you use the machine. This on average will last for about a year. Now if you listen, it rattles. That means it's got charcoal, um, activated charcoal granules in it. You won't be able to see them really because they're behind the filtration. So you've got filtration material and inside 
the activated charcoal. So that, that is designed to help reduce odours. If you own pets, you'll know that your vacuum can start to smell after a while. So the exhaust air passes through this filter, goes through the bag, pre-mode filter, and then it passes through the final filter and also through the activated charcoal. So it should reduce the odours. But as I said, on average they last a year. When you first get it, there's a little green button. You press that in and then this indicator will show you when to change the filter. But if you can just make a note of when you bought the machine, in about a year's time, get another filter to keep the machine operating effectively. So that goes in there. Just have to make sure it's in place. And it's a good tight fit. That's it. The controls on the machine are pretty simple. They all can be operated with your foot. So we've got a plus and minus button. So you can adjust the suction for minimum for curtains, higher suction for your upholstery, a higher suction for your rugs. Then we've got this symbol, which is an ear. So that's a silent setting. So that'll give you good performance, but with lower noise levels for general cleaning. And then you've got fitted carpet setting and finally maximum for cleaning hard floors. Push button on off. And then we've got Miele's Comfort Cord Rewind. So I'll pull out the cord. And it's always best to pull the cord out to the fullest extent when you're cleaning. Right, so when you feel a bit of resistance, I just like to let the cord go in a little bit and then lock it in place. So once you've finished using your machine, you only have to press the comfort cord rewind button once. Now it's because I've only just unraveled the cord, it might stall when I press the button. But obviously you've been using the machine a while normally, so the cord will have stretched out and un uncurled. But one touch with your hand or your foot, and it does that, as I thought it would. There we go. So that's the cord rewind. On the back here, we have the parking slot. So you can park either of the main floor nozzles. So I've got the turbo nozzle on here. You saw the parking bracket earlier. So that parks it. Normally you'd have the hose attached and everything. Just means if you pause your cleaning, instead of just having to lay, lay the hose down on the floor, it'll just park in that slot. And then when you come back to the machine, you just lift it off and carry on cleaning. It's also got a storage slot. Is it both sides on this? Yes, on this machine, it's on both sides. So if this is in your cupboard, you can store it on its end and keep everything together by slotting the tube and the nozzle into the side of the machine. On the back, we have three very smooth running swivel casters. So unlike a, a cylinder vacuum cleaner that might have two fixed wheels at the back and a single caster at the front, having three casters means that not only will the machine follow you like this, it'll go in any direction. If it gets in the way, you can just kick it out of the way. I often do when using a machine like this with all casters, but having all casters, as you can see, it is highly maneuverable along the floor or carpeted surface you're cleaning. I don't think there's anything else to point out on the machine itself. So we've got the hose. This end goes into the hose. Oh, there's one thing I've just realized. Just under the hose inlet is a bag check indicator. That will show orange when you need to change the bag or if there's a blockage, that will show orange. But it will fluctuate in use as you use the machine. But that's just a rough guide. It's always best from time to time just to open up the bag door and have a look at the bag just to make sure it doesn't need changing. And of course, the frequency of bag change will depend on many things. The size of your house, how many people are living in your house, if you've got pets, etc. But I assume if you buy the cat and dog version, you may have pets, but you don't have to have pets to own a cat and dog vacuum. So here's the curved handle and the other end of the hose. It just pushes on until it clicks like so. 
and if you need to remove it if you do get a blockage in the handle you can just remove it like that easy so there's the handle and then the wand goes on again it's a click fit like so press the button to release it and then we can adjust the uh, wands to suit your height most comfortable height for cleaning so it's best done when you're stood up I suppose that's about right for me actually but if you're taller it does come out quite a way it is a nice long extension tube that is very long for tall people but if you're very short you can go right down to that level but for me sort of somewhere somewhere in between is fine okay well let's plug in we'll see how quiet or noisy this Mila cat and dog cleaner is So not very noisy at all obviously it's hard to judge the sound of a vacuum cleaner through a youtube video but uh, to my ears that's quite a pleasant sound and of course as you turn the suction down the noise level also reduces for this part of the video i'm going to test the Miele's performance on a hard floor now this is a cushion vinyl floor and previous experience using this machine tells me not to use it on the maximum setting because it tends to pull the floor up to the nozzle. So I get the best results using the silent setting, which is sort of the midway suction. Okay, I'm just gonna put some dirt, sprinkle it about on this hard floor, and we'll be using the standard carpet and hard floor nozzle. I can't fault this Miele's performance on a hard floor, but most vacuum cleaners should be able to pick up dirt on a hard surface. This Miele does it very well. There's very little snow ploughing using this nozzle. There was a little bit, but I just tilted the nozzle back and all the dirt was sucked inside. But I did put an awful lot of dirt down on this floor, so in normal use, I don't think snow ploughing will be a problem with this machine. I also, though, had to reduce the power a couple of notches because it was still sucking in the vinyl floor into the nozzle, making it hard to push. So if you've got a cushion vinyl floor, it's best to use this machine on a lower setting. I'm in the living room now, and I've spread some more dirt on this carpet to test the Miele's carpet cleaning ability. This time using the TurboTech floor head, the turbo brush specifically designed for carpeting. This is a short pile man-made fibre. There's black sand again in this uh, demonstration dirt. And I'll have a close look after one forward and one backward pass. Have a close look at where the machine's been and see if we can spot the sand. I'm actually going to use it on 
the setting one below maximum. You'll have to adjust the settings according to your carpets. And I think uh, for this particular carpet, I don't need the full suction, but I will be doing it on the carpet setting, not the hard floor setting. Okay, I think that's rubbed in enough. Let's get the Miele, pass it forward and back through the middle of this dirt. Well, I think we can see a slight difference. <laughs> It has missed, I have to say, this little piece of sawdust. And to be totally critical, when I'm rubbing my hand on the carpet, I can see a few little bits bouncing up. But I think another couple of passes and all that dirt will be gone. But to the naked eye, if you're not really close, that looks like a pretty impressive bit of vacuuming. Well, I've still got more mess to pick up, so we'll do a few more shots of the Miele with the TurboTech head in action. And then we'll see how convenient the machine is to use for above floor cleaning. Despite the popularity of cordless cleaners, I still think mains vacuum cleaners have a place in your cleaning arsenal. There's no point in trying to do a deep spring clean with a cordless machine because before you finish the job, you're going to have to stop and recharge the battery. So to have a mains powered cleaner as well is a very useful addition. And especially a cylinder machine like this Miele because as you saw, it cleans carpets and hard floors but you can also clean all your above floor spaces, all your nooks and crannies inside the car and everywhere throughout your home using the additional tools. And as you saw earlier, the small tools in this Miele are stored on board. So we can clean our upholstery and curtains, our shelving, our lampshades, our Venetian blinds, and of course the crevice tool for all your nooks and crannies. So I'm going to take this Miele around my home, I'm going to clean sofas, I'm going to clean the stairs and just do some general cleaning jobs above the floor. Because this Miele cat and dog also comes with the Turbo Mini, I'll be using this on my upholstered furniture and carpeted stairs.
After that cleaning session, there's one word that springs to mind regarding this Miele vacuum, and that's convenience. It is very comfortable to use. It's very effective, it's efficient, and it's an absolute joy, to be honest, on all surfaces, on carpet, floors, the stairs, all the nooks and crannies. This is a very nice vacuum cleaner and one that I would recommend. If you don't need the cat and dog version, if you've just got hard floors, don't have any pets, you could go for a standard complete C3. Just check that it's the power line version and not the eco line. The power line version has the maximum 890 watts and I do think it makes a bit of difference. I've tried lower wattage mealers and they don't have quite the suction of the 890 watt version. You might see this in different colors. I've seen it in red um, and other colors like that. But basically the cleaner's the same. As long as it has an 890 watt motor and has both turbo nozzles, then it's a cat and dog. Now, let's have a look at all the filth inside because I've probably almost filled the bag. Now, obviously, if this was going to be showing you a bagless cleaner, we'll be looking at the filters. And we can have a look at the filters, but we'll first look at the bag and here's the bag there is a little bit of dust there you can see it's closed itself we can pull the bag out it's hard doing this back to front there we go and that is a heavy bag there's still a bit of room in there so i can continue to use this machine off camera and i will do until that bag is full let's have a look at all the dirt inside Ugh. What dirt? <laughs> now that noise you're hearing, if you can hear the noise, that is of course the charcoal granules in the activated charcoal filter. There's absolutely no dust inside this bag compartment. And I'd be very surprised if on the pre-motor filter, oh dear. Oh, you might just be able to, look, I've got to be honest, there was a little speck that's managed to somehow, a couple of little tiny specks managed to escape the bag somehow but on the whole obviously there's no messy filters to wash you're not washing a filter waiting 24 hours for it to dry before you put it back in your machine with a bagged cleaner once the bag is full you just replace the bag and about once a year replace the exhaust filter so there you have it that's the Miele complete c3 Cat and Dog Plus Powerline Vacuum Cleaner. It's definitely a thumbs up for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified of all my uploads, which include many more Miele cleaners. I do have a Miele playlist on my channel if you want to check that out. So until the next time, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.